Hello, dear friend. I welcome you all to another wonderful project in my kitchen. And whenever you see my kitchen, it means that you are at the channel Cooking Together Russian Cuisine in English. Today we will be cooking Russian soup. Russian, Russian, Russian. And it may sound so weird to you, but I encourage you, please experiment and make it at home because you may like this unusual taste of this soup. What's so unusual about this soup? Well, because the main ingredient of this soup, what do we see here? Those are pickles. Pickles, my favorite Vlasic pickles, and pickling juice as well. Brine. Brine will be used uh, to cook the soup. Soup could be based on the meat bouillon, on any, any type of meat. It could be pork, it could be poultry, it could be beef. I'm making today a vegetarian version of this soup it's just because I prefer it that way. And let me show you the ingredients, what we will have in that soup included. Of course, my greens, that they will go into the soup after everything is done. And the greens are green onions. I have parsley. I have a little bit of cilantro. And never forget, baby deal you cannot put parsley you can omit cilantro but baby deal must go into russian soups then i'm going to add these little peppers then i'm going to add potatoes and potatoes since i have a little size potatoes they small potatoes on the small side i decided to peel four potatoes i have an onion and of course carrot never forget carrot because in all vegetarian soups we have carrots that they go in here they will add some color and texture to soup i also here is my tomato that will go into the soup i prefer it um that way i mean i i add tomatoes to all my vegetarian soups because it also gives some interesting color because um, sometimes soups are re really, really clearly boring. And when you add tomato, tomato adds some interesting and intriguing color. And since, <laughs> and since this soup, rasolnik, rasolnik, and since this soup is a little bit weird in texture, to make it look very good, we add tomato. What else I want to tell you? So the name of the soup is rasolnik, rasolnik, rasolnik. And it comes from the word rasol, rasol. Rasol is pickle juice or brine in Russian, rasolnik. And of course, as we will be cooking it, you'll see that I will be adding that pickle juice into the soup. And you probably will see, oh, these vegetables and our broth is going to be thin. And you're absolutely right. That's why I always add rice. You can also you replace rice with with barley it's also going to be good but i always use rice for my soups and here is less than half a cup of rice okay we have all the ingredients and we are ready to make rasolnik 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 a pickling <laughs> a soup made out of pickles a soup that we are going to make with pickles pickling cucumbers pickled cucumbers that is a weird soup so today we will be making rasolnik 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 and we start cutting potatoes first all vegetables go into the pot almost simultaneously and because this soup has vegetables only it's not going to take that much time i think altogether cooking time for this dish is about one hour it's 
together with the time when it stands on the stove absorbing all the flavors from the greens and etc so it's not that long to cook it it's not too difficult to uh, cut the vegetables we just cut in it normal way and nothing special about it Our first vegetables go into the pot. Here we are. And we start building our soup. Let's do now our peppers. Here my tomato. Meanwhile, it's on low heat. While I am assembling all vegetables in the pot, the water is on low heat, not high, because technically vegetables. Vegetables need to come to its readiness at the same time. Now I can bring it to medium because they're almost all in the pot. Now I'm going to shred carrots because it's better when you grate it. And uh, the same way I'm going to deal with our pickles. I'm going to create, grate them on the grater. So that's very interesting way to deal with pickles for this soup here is my other grater see i have normal grater as well though i don't like it very much but for this soup it's right tool to use for our carrot and then pickles as well And a few pieces like that to beautify our soup. So now carrot will go into the pot as well. Now it's time to bring this soup to to boil. So I'm bringing the heat to high and very soon this soup will start boiling then i'll add seasoning and um avocado oil because you see because we don't have any meat we need some vegetable oil and again it's oil of your choice it could be olive oil or avocado oil Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of our rice. I will be rinsing it and then letting the water to rinse through it and make sure that our rice is clean before it goes to our pot. What do we see here? We see nice, nice process that all the vegetables are surfacing the soup is cooking and getting to the temperature that we are after it will start boiling very very soon here i have my paprika i have my black pepper and i have a few bay leaves as usual that it will go into our soup and i think now at the verge of boiling i'm going to add my oil and now let's see what do we have here i see the color the color is getting there it's getting there that's our soup out of nothing we have this miracle 
water and some vegetables, but we're already getting the essence of the soup. What do we have next? I think I will start seasoning it. You know, I have this size of the pot and it takes this much of salt. I may add a little bit. <gasps> Gosh, what did I do today? I am supposed to, when you salt this soup, please make sure that you, that you add a little less salt than usual because you will have your pickles. And I think I just ruined my soup. Darn. If I ruin it, then I will add some water. I'll be tasting it but um, I may put too much salt. But I'll let you know. See, that's how we do it. <laughs> Sometimes we learn with the errors. Sometimes we learn with the errors. But So I salted soup. Now let's, I added salt. And now <clears throat> let's add some pepper and some paprika paprika is optional it i just happen to like it and by the way i forgot to tell you one thing since it's russian soup when it's ready it's being served with sour cream everything is served with sour cream um and rasolnik is served with sour cream as well Mm, but you don't have to put sour cream you know what i also going to add some garlic fresh garlic to this soup and it's going to have all those sour uh, pickling tarty taste and you will feel also a touch of garlic in this soup we we'll let it boil for a couple of minutes no more and then we send rice in this soup when it's boiling you really have to watch it because it would tend to to escape your pot and make a mess on your stove you don't want that that's why you have to really 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 keep an eye on this soup at this moment well i think it's doing it's the right moment for our rice to get into soup. And now I'm going to bring it to medium. So the heat is down to medium, maybe a little bit lower than medium. Like I have this nine scale and if you leave it the dial at five not at six but between four and six at five let it simmer at that temperature meanwhile let's take care of our pickles i'm going to use one two three i think three would be enough there's a little half over here so and then some juice you can cut this in cubes you can dice them you can do whatever you want a long time ago a person one my good friend she gave me this um hint to use grater for this one and and i really like ever since that what i do i just grate my pickles on a grater because they also will spread within the broth and they will give a very nice texture to soup you see and um I left the skin out, but skin will go into soup. Just my grater didn't take it, and I don't want to mess with my fingers. I'll cut them. What's important for us here is to get all pickle juice. See, this is 
nice amount of pickles what we have here and let me take care of this skin that we also send to the pot now would be a good time to to add our pickles to the soup you see the process is without stopping it's one thing after another and it's really a very speedy process and it doesn't take much time once you started preparing this soup it goes 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 until it ends and you get a ready soup a nice process we are having here look at this the soup is getting cooked all our vegetables are getting ready now it's good time for our pickles to be added here we have our pickles Mm. just a little bit little tiny bit of the juice because i have a lot of salt and then i'll try later on this soup and see if i need to add some water we pacified the boiling process with cold pickles and now i'm going to bring the soup to a low temperature let's put it at two on my dial i'm going to cover it with the lid and for the next 15 minutes i am doing nothing to this soup because it's going to cook on its own the stove is going to do my job well the soup assembly is almost done then in 15 minutes i'll come back to it with my greens which i will chop on the board and i also will add some few cloves of garlic and that will be it for our soup look at this i know every time i leave the lid and bringing your attention to the simmering soup and i'm telling you look at this yes look at this actually it's turning out to be very very nice soup let's see what is the consistency what is the structure of our soup the thickness of the bouillon is just perfect it's not too thick not too thin just perfect 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 soup now let's add our bay leaves our bay leaves so one two three four bay leaves and now let me grab our greens so as i said our greens going to stay on top on the surface i am not storing them in all the savory elements this the, the greens will be slowly releasing its savory elements into the soup not Killing it with the temperature right away, letting it gradually to mix with the soup, with the taste, this delicious taste. I am leaving this soup like this for five more minutes, then I'll turn it off and I'll let it sit for another 15 minutes on the stove. So it's on very, very low. We put the lid tightly on it, we close the lid tightly, and we will let to sit it on the lowest of the low for the next five to seven minutes then you turn everything off and you let the soup sit for another 10 to 15 minutes and after that you may serve it well let's see that's how our soup looks we have 
all the green that is floating on the surface and it did gave in all its flavors and everything we got our soup rasolnik rasolnik it's a soup with pickles it's the soup with pickles and let's prepare a serving of this soup all these vegetables make this soup look so festive and nice see this is our rasolnik 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 это наш рассольник this is our rasolnik it's pickle soup pickle soup i'm sure you've never heard anything like this before well this is our rasolnik rasolnik this is our soup let me serve it again how it's supposed to be i'm going to add sour cream and adorn it with parsley and that will be our rasolnik and this is rasolnik our rasolnik another wonderful project at cooking together russian cuisine in english i thank you all for being here with me in my kitchen i would like you to try and cook this soup it's really really very nice if you decide to make it with meat you have to keep in mind that you have to allocate time for meat to get ready if it's pork it's about extra 30 to 40 minutes if it's beef that's another hour to be ready for the soup to be ready now i'm going to enjoy this soup and i will let you know whether i had too much salt or not meanwhile i thank you all for being here with me on the channel and i will see you very very soon